Strange World! Today, in the lab, we're going to look at bimetallic strip. Now, this may look like an odd piece of metal stuck to a wooden handle, but a bimetallic strip is very important. In your house, you may have a bimetallic strip inside your thermostat. And what a bimetallic strip is, is it's two pieces of metal fused together. One side, brass, the other side, steel. Now, how does it work, you might ask? Well, safety first. Yeah. Goggles. Now, where did I put that lighter? Just in case I need an extra hand. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we get some flame going here. By the way, here, you can hold on to that. Excellent, good job. Now, with our bimetallic strip, when we heat it, we're going to see what happens. So we hold it over the flame, and watch carefully as we heat up our bimetallic strip. We will notice that it starts to bend. And as the bimetallic strip starts to bend, what we see happen is the rod starts to bend. So the heat is being applied to the bottom of our bimetallic strip right now, which is the steel side. So as the steel side is heated, the bimetallic strip bends down. Now if we turn it over and heat it on the brass side, what we see happen is it still continues to bend up towards the ceiling in this case. So the way a bimetallic strip works is it will always bend in the direction of the metal that expands the slowest. So when we are heating this, we are providing energy. And the kinetic energy is being transferred into the metal. The metal that expands the slowest causes the faster metal, in this case the brass, to be pulled towards in an upward fashion. So what we're seeing here is the steel is expanding slower than the brass and it's causing the bimetallic strip to bend. So in your thermostat, the way that works is when it heats up, the bimetallic strip either straightens out and releases contact point, turning on your heater, or when it cools, it bends back in and makes contact, which turns the heater on. So let's just see what happens when we apply a little bit of cold water to our bimetallic strip. So we'll continue to heat. Turn on some water over here. Multitasking, very important in the lab. And we place it in the cold water. And magically, straight again. Because when we put it in the cold water, all the energy that was built up releases and it returns back to its original state. So today, in the lab, bimetallic strip, you find it in your thermostat. Cover up our heat, put away our lighter, and say goodbye. Because in G's world, it's wicked awesome. Woo!